welcome. I am streaming Democracy 3 again. Uh, last time I did this, last time I made the mistake of doing this, was um, on the night of the UK referendum. My, that was a long, 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 long night of stuff, and I've just realised my mic is not in the place where it should be. Um, yes, so the night of the EU referendum here in the United Kingdom, I was streaming this, playing this all night whilst watching uh, the results come in from the EU referendum. It was a very long night, and I uh, I had some fun with it. And now, many weeks down the line, the referendum, we all know what the result of that was. The UK voted that we should leave the European Union. Uh, it's still not happened, and it won't happen for some time yet. The UK has to uh, trigger Article 50, which, or it doesn't have to, but it, but the government may decide to just to keep the population in line. And with, uh, with the news kind of quietening down about this, I had an idea for playing Democracy 3 again. Now, you see, this game is great. I mean, I have some big issues with it uh, that I explained during the stream. It's like things like... Um, child benefit, for example, or, or disability benefit should already exist if you set up the UK, because in 2012, when this game launched, uh, the UK did have a disability benefit. So the fact that you have to introduce it uh, on your first turn, it's it's not ideally set up. It's not representative of the UK as it stands, um, but it is very useful for, for just an example of just how difficult it would be to run a country or to to, to make those decisions. And as I say, I don't like trying to play this game unless I have a really solid idea of what I want to do. Now this time around, what I want to do is I want to do an isolationist UK. So I want to pretend like the UK is just out of the European Union. It doesn't want any part of anything else in the world other than itself. It's, the UK is out for itself only. And it's going to just cut off all ties. Uh, it doesn't want immigration. doesn't want... Uh, foreigners, doesn't want um, the military going overseas, it just wants to stay within its borders and be a United Kingdom inside its borders. Uh, I suspect this may not be quite as interesting as I think it might be, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So, we are going to play as the United Kingdom, surprise, surprise. It's a fixed five-year length term now. So, we're going to have a term length of that. Uh, we're going to play, I think, it's uh, given that they're in power at the moment, we're going to go with those. Now, I would I would go with the Labour Party, except, you know, the Labour Party's kind of crumbling. I don't know whether to go with something else. You know, uh, a socialist party. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, l let's go with the Labour Party. Uh, political apathy. We're going to turn that down to about 30, because that's more reflective of what the last uh, uh, the last referendum was. Uh, innate liberalism, 100%. Innate socialism, 100%. Yeah, that's that's not really representative of the UK if we if we see what's going on. But never mind, we'll leave that as it is. Now, yes, yes, yes. I know, I know, I know. So begin term of office. Wow. Yes. So now, if you have never played this game or if you've never seen anybody play it, this is your screen. This is how you play the game. This is the interface. Right here, all these circles represent different things, from policies, uh, which are the white ones, uh, things that you can affect and change. The blue ones tend to be things that are affecting the country uh, for the better or for the worse. So this one, obviously, violent crime. And the red ones here, these are bad things, things you want to get rid of as soon as possible. So, in the middle here, we have our uh, different sections of society, so our socialists, our commuters, etc., and what these little lines coming in and out, what they do is they show you... Uh, so anything going in that's green is, is basically what's what's making the socialists happy. Anything that's going in that's red is making the socialists unhappy. Uh, the black are kind of near middle. Um, the speed at which those, those little arrows are heading towards are how strongly it's feeding into their happiness, their contentment with your government. Hmm. Excuse me while I take a sip of water. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to start off now. Now, now, now. Um, hmm. I think the best place to start, really, is to cancel this. To cancel foreign aid. We're going isolationist. We want none of that. Now, <coughs> me having clicked cancel, 
that has disappeared, but it won't actually come into effect for a few turns. What that means, oh, for a, so every time, every turn is a quarter, so it's three months. Uh, three months out of the year, so that won't come into effect for a while, so we won't see uh, a difference in our expenditure and our income, which is important. We want to try and balance those books. And just here, just up here, we have our uh, our political capital. That's what it takes to do stuff. So you need a lot of political capital in order to drive a policy through. That's that's pretty much how it works. Now, military spending, we want. I think we want a defensive only, really, don't we? Uh, if we're going with an isolationist, because they're not going to go out. It's not going to affect us too much, but it's going to affect us somewhat. So uh, we might just be able to... S oh, uh, if I lower it, it's going to cost 19 political capital. I only have 11. Never mind. We'll try that next turn. Now, up here, we've got things like our intelligence briefing. So is there anybody here who's trying to kill us? Um, because you can be assassinated. If you are a prime minister here, you can be assassinated. Obviously, these ones with guns, these are the really dangerous ones. These are the ones you want to watch out for. I have been taken down by the Revolutionary Army and the Battenberg Group on many occasions. Here we have our go away. We have our polling data. Uh, this basically tells us how much people are likely to vote for us, who they're likely to vote for. Uh, you know our approval rating, etc. These are heavily skewed. Uh, the the focus groups, the voter types, they're not representative because the game is very clever in saying, okay, this is what the polls say. But it doesn't take into account how many people might not vote, which is fair enough. This shows kind of where people are at the moment, where we are at the moment. We're kind of, eh, we're just, yeah, not great at the moment. So now foreign, po uh, that's policy. Uh, oh, yes, up here we've got our, our, our income expenditure. So at the moment, we're not doing too bad now. State pensions, you see, it's just sucking up stuff. Now, bus lanes, legal aid, these are all good. We want to keep all those intelligence services. Okay, that's a useful police force. What we have, what I can't see, is a border force. Go away. Uh, yeah, I can't see a border force, which we'll need to have a look at actually. So law and order, narcotics, no, no, prisons, no, alcohol, no, CCTV, no, legal aid, intelligence police force so our ideas these are our policy ideas so foreign policy we, we obviously don't want foreign aid we do want import tariffs if we're going to be isolationist we do want import tariffs basically saying that it's great if you buy locally but if you buy from outside the uk you're going to be punished for it so we're going to bring that in next turn it's going to cost us 13 political capital but i think it's going to be worth it uh welfare there's not much we can do there economy uh Foreign investor tax breaks? Definitely not. And of course we can throw in a few taxes, so an airline tax might be useful. Stop people going out into the world. That might be useful, useful if we want to be isolationist. Uh, public services, not really a problem. Now I'm sure there is a border force. Uh, tasers, private prisons, racial profiling. Uh, death penalty, no, I can't see it. I'm sure there is one. We'll find it sooner or later. Uh, these are our achievements. I haven't achieved anything, mainly because I've uh, switched over to using the Steam version of this just for the sake of updates, which is why it keeps giving me flaming tutorials. This is our cabinet. It's a very, very small cabinet, as you see. In fact, uh, a UK government's cabinet is about four times the size of this. So we don't have to deal with quite as much as, as a Prime Minister or poor, poor Jeremy Corbyn has to deal with. But nevertheless... It's not a huge problem. Uh, they basically, obviously, each turn they feed you in a little bit of political capital. Now, this guy here is not feeding us too much. We might want to change him at some point. We'll see. Uh, what else we got? We've got settings. That's all okay. In fact, what I might do is I might just turn that, take down the music a bit. I can always take that up if I need to. And parties, political parties. So, at the moment, we've got... <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've got zero members, while the Labour Party have got 26 million. That seems a little unfair. Don't quite know why that's why that's the case. Um, anyway, we're going to carry on now. I'm not going to explain any more of the game. I'm just going to explain my decisions at this point. Stop and searches now. Now, we're being isolationist, but we're not being... I think if we're going to be isolationist, we want to make sure within our borders we're going to make things quite useful. So... 
I think we're, we're going to allow our citizens to go free about their business. I think that's fair enough. We want we want people living here to feel like this is a really great place to live, so that they don't want to go out into the rest of the world. And they would it basically wants to be that kind of like V for Vendetta, where they go, oh, everywhere else in the world is is collapsing, and Britain is really great, honest, really really great. So that's what we want to do. Ah, border controls. Right, we want to turn them right the way up. Uh, yep, we want to apply that, so it's going to be very difficult to get in. Now, the policy idea is we want the import tariffs, so I want the import tariffs implemented, and I want the maximum, as much as we can possibly put them up. Uh, so the patriots are going to really like that. Unemployment's not going to like, that's going to damage our unemployment, it's going to damage our foreign relations, but that's not a huge problem. But it is very, very popular with the voters. So I think it's a good idea for us to do this. That's going to make us a bit more popular. Now, we need to sort out the expenditure as well. So I wonder, what's this? Immigration. Immigration is coming down. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That doesn't bother us. Uh, international trade. Well, that's that, that's fine for now. Uh, foreign relations are taking a dip. That's good. That's good. Racial tension. Mm. Now, you see, we've not actually done anything terrible to people of other uh, of, of of various different eth ethnic minorities so it would seem weird that um that being isolationist is going to cause that but you know whatever okay so what else have we got here what can we do that's going to balance our books uh, we've only got seven political capital so it's not a huge amount that we can do uh welfare see welfare fraud it doesn't hmm I don't think that's worth it. Rent controls. Uh, I don't think that's worth it either. Economy. Tax. Plastic bag junk. I think next time. See, now, flat income tax. That's one I'd really like to have. It's really, really, really useful, but you need to save up a heck of a lot of political capital. Um... Basically, it says that instead of like a tiered income tax system, you have flat tax and everybody pays the same percentage of tax regardless of who you are. But obviously, nobody would like that. What happens, though, is actually you get, the, you get it looking a lot, lot better. Um, okay. So in the meantime, what can we do to make the place better? So we've got doctor's strike. Why have we got a doctor's strike? Um... Hmm. So the stop trigger. We need to get past this point. I don't know why we've got a why why we've got a doctor strike. That's not fun. So what's feeding into it? Wages, state health service. So I'm guessing that we're oh private healthcare doesn't like that. Okay, so state health service. That's going to cost us an awful lot to increase it but hopefully that'll help with the oh I haven't got enough political capital well that's a shame there's not much we can do about that right now unfortunately right uh, here's what we can no 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 let's have a look at what we could just introduce um, transport oh fuel efficiency it's gonna cost us telecommuting is gonna cost us uh, public services tax oh now let's Hmm. Enterprise investments. See, here's the thing. On face value, it tells you that the potential income is nothing, but the potential cost is quite expensive. Here's the thing, though. The enterprise investment will feed into GDP. Because it feeds into GDP, it's going to increase the amount of tax we get from businesses. So it's actually a really good thing to use, and we do get income from it. We just don't get direct income from it in the same way we would the plastic bag tax they've got here, which would basically be like the 5p tax we've got here, and instead of going to charities, it goes into the government's pocket. Uh, it is a terrible, terrible idea, the plastic bag tax, however, so we're not going to introduce that. Now, work safety law is pretty much good for everybody. See, the welfare fraud department, I'm hesitant to bring that in, but people seem to like that idea. Uh, undercover investigators, it seems a bit Orwellian. But here we go. Let's apply that. Let's see what we get. We'll probably save up for a few turns just to see what we uh, what we can get. People smuggling. Nope. Deport them. Get rid of them. We don't want them. Okay. Uh, now the Labour Party's dropping. Now whether that's because we're actually doing quite well, I don't know. Now I don't actually have the electioneering DLC on this, which I suspect 
I suspect this is tied into because I don't think I've ever really used this too much before. Now, no, 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 no. Import tariffs are quite high. That's fine. Border controls are quite high. Our military. I reckon we can take that down to light defensive, and that should that should save us enough money that things will go along quite well. Oh, lovely. Caped Crusader. Marvellous. Credit rating has been downgraded. That's not great. But we can bounce back. Our income has already gone up a little. Now, let's... Now, we've got a health problem. We do have a health problem here in the UK. We've also got an asthma epidemic. So what can we do about the asthma epidemic? The environment. Yes, yes. So the environment. What can we do about that? Pollution controls and recycling. So pollution controls, major fines. I think that's a good idea. It's not going to cost us too much. Um, <coughs> I also think we want to whack that right the way up because that will get us a heck of a lot of money. Um, recycling. And then we can have a lot more recycling. Except and the other thing we want is to try and... We've not got enough political capital but we could probably have economy tax car tax and a carbon tax see they're not very popular though airline tax might be better I think we'll, we will go with the air, airport tax as soon as we can afford it debt protection laws right uh, we're gonna limit the agency activity Human Rights Society doesn't like us, but their membership's falling, so I'm not going to worry about them too much right now. Okay, so I was going to introduce the... Uh, da, 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 da. Airline tax is going to cost a little bit more, so let's, let's skip this turn. Our income expenditure is not too bad. We do have a deficit. It's not a huge deficit, but it's a deficit, so we need to take care of it. Skills shortage, right? So we need to put ed we need to do something about education and a teacher shortage. Okay, so I need to sort something like that. No worries, no worries at all. So let's get the yeah, let's have the airline tax. Let's whack that right the way up. We also need education, education, education. Not the tour, not not the lab, not Labour's version of it though. And let's whack up student. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's be reasonable about this. Modern textbook, student laptops. They don't really need laptops for every student. So I think modern textbooks are a good idea. Let's say 30 billion is a good budget. And let's try that. We also want, 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 want. Causes, state schools are pretty poorly funded, but we're improving that, we're improving that. Educate and that will improve education too. Also, what the other thing we want to do next turn then is welfare, economy. Hang on, what's citizenship tests? Hmm, that might be interesting to put in. Uh, tax. What I want schools tax credits. What does that do? Tax reductions and credits designed to encourage people to spend their money on. Oh, I don't like that. I really don't like that, but it's it's popular. That's a weird thing. Graduate tax. That's not. That's going to be pretty disincentivized, isn't it? Adult education subsidies. I think that's a good place to start. And public libraries, and university grants. Uh, so that's thirteen, ten, and twelve. So it's going to be about two turns. So let's skip ahead two turns. Uh, negative effect. Global economy. Well, that's fine. We're isolating ourselves, so that shouldn't affect us as much. Now, we've got 22, so let's introduce... Uh, let's introduce university grants. It's going to cost us quite a bit of money, though. Uh, let's do that. Let's see, we really need... I think, as well, is that a luxury? No, that's a sales tax. That's an alcohol tax. Capital gains tax. Let's see if we can put that up. 20% is reasonable. And let's skip ahead. Uncompetitive economy. Our situation is now at an end. So by isolating ourselves and putting an import tax on stuff, we've got a, a competitive economy at last, which is good. 
curb banking bonuses ah now now you see the problem with this the problem with this is that oh 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 you see in this game it treats the banks as private companies which basically means that if you put the bonuses on then the companies don't earn as much money or at least people don't pay as much tax see if these guys get bonuses then we're going to get more tax however if you stop them getting bonuses they're gonna pay less tax uh, it's basically a way see here's, here's the way you can see it right if the company doesn't make profit they don't pay tax to the cut to the country however if their top executives get paid say half a million pound in a bonus and say a hundred of their top people get paid that all of a sudden that's 50 million pounds on which which is going to be taxed at 40 percent here in the uk 40 to 50 percent is what what that amount is going to be taxed which basically means that of that 50 million we will get somewhere in the region as a country we'll get somewhere in the region of 20 to 25 million pounds worth of tax whereas before from the com from the company we wouldn't have got any tax however from the company's employees we'll get an extra 20 million pounds worth of tax so i actually think curbing the banking bonuses would have a negative effect on us now sure these people are going to try and skimp and save a little money and not pay tax but i think i think it makes sense not to curb the banking bonuses because we're still going to get tax from them the income tax from them so i'm going to do nothing that's my that's my reasoning for it and i think a lot of people would really get angry about get, really so when the banking crisis happened a lot of people wanted this to happen I'm, I'm flailing my hands around like a moron um and of course you can't see me i should probably look into like a, a, a cam on this but anyway uh yeah a lot of people got really really annoyed at the fact oh you know we we, we really 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 need to curb these banking bonuses well actually no we don't we get income tax from it so sorry i don't agree now where are we okay tax luxury goods tax i think that's a good idea and i think 90 percent is too high let's have 75 percent you know this is really luxury cars and that kind of stuff so and and that's the capitalists are hating us though and the battenberg group is ridiculously dangerous we're gonna have to cut them a break soon they basically like nothing we've done so far so I'll have to look into what else I can do. Same-sex marriage? No, 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 no. We're going to allow that. Right. Now, what what else have we got? Uh, graduate taxes and no public services. Ah, uh, now, 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 now. Adult education again. That's a good one. Public libraries. Everybody likes public libraries. I think that might be a good idea. Technology. Nobody likes technology colleges. Hmm okay schools vouchers no youth clubs arts see arts is very popular so we will have to put that up so for the moment we're going to implement public libraries and we're going to try and put that in what's our see we have got a big gulf now in our in our income expenditure so i think we're going to have to sort that out soon media backlash well that's just tough luck Credit rating is going down, but don't worry, we're going to try and fix this, so don't worry. So what else, can, what can we save? What can we save money on? Agriculture subsidies. Hmm. See, the capitalists will like us, like this, if we cancel it. The farmers will not. farmers income though again that's the important thing is i think past history it's gotten less and less i think i'm going to cancel that that possibly will um will kick us in the teeth but i think that makes sense what we've got here disability ben un unemployed benefit right 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 uh we're not gonna have none but we're gonna have it as low as we can there Oh, insufficient political capital. Never mind. <coughs> okay. Oh, dear. Capitalist plot. Yes. 
Right, are we going to bail out a company? No, we are not. No, we are not. Uh, da, 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 da. The Conservatives have got a decent membership. The Opposition Party has more of us. Oh, the Battenberg Group, yes. They're old friends of mine. Really, really dangerous people. Now, the education, I've never had this before, where the education has been such a bad, in such a bad state. So what can I see? GDP, I hate looking at this because so it's so, so complicated. Ah, okay. Skill shortage. University grants, I think we have to put that up. Yep. I also think we need to put state schools up. But oh dear, oh dear, the Battenberg group are after us again. They're after us again. So, we have to, um, oh, we're going to have to put that all the way up. The Liberals aren't going to like us. CCTV cameras, oh, I can't do that just yet. No, never mind, never mind, don't worry about that. We'll save ourselves, hopefully. Egalitarian. We feel equal. Wow, okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. So people are feeling... Oh. Right. Our transport minister doesn't like us. That's not a problem. Doctor Strike is at an end. This is good. Brain drain. Mmm. That's a problem. So the luxury goods tax has actually kicked us in the backside, and I'm going to have to reduce that as much as possible. Uh, income tax is too high as well. Uh, okay. <coughs> so, uh, luxury goods tax is this one, is no, that's sales tax. Okay, luxury goods tax, yes. Let's take that down to 40%. <coughs> and hopefully people will like that. Let's take the airline tax down to 40%. And inheritance tax, let's put that up to 25. Can't do that just yet. Okay. Not paying attention to my, my political capital. Income tax, I'd really dearly love to lower that. But I can't lower it until I've found something I can do. Road building. I think maybe next term we cancel, any, we cancel road building. Um, because it's costing us a lot of money and we're not really... Yes, I know, I know, I know. Skill shortages at an end. This is good. This is good. Um, okay, so road building, we're going to... We can't cancel road building. Uh, so we'll go with essential maintenance and save what we can. Uh, rail subsidies are quite high. But... So is that taking away from unemployment? Yes. That's a shame. Community police policing now 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 I don't like community policing I don't think that's going to work right military spending can we oh no 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 we can't drop that down any further um mm, no the import taxes are fine what else can we get rid of no tobacco tax that's fine. <coughs> The airline, 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 airline. Corporation tax, I'm going to pop that up to 20 million. Oh, I can't. Ugh. Right, let's have a look at our cabinet. I think we need to start firing people. So on the next turn, we're going to reshuffle completely. Yeah, I know they don't like us. Right, UN ambassador. Against foreign aid, supporter of import tariffs, not popular internationally. That's fine. We don't. We are isolationist. We don't want to be popular internationally. Right. Let's reshuffle our cabinet. Foreign policy. Let's hire a foreign policy person. So, um, hmm. She's a patriot. So that's pretty cool. Um, and that's really what we're looking for. We're looking for somebody who's going to give us a lot of political capital. Um, da, 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 da. foreign policy 
foreign policy. Ooh. Foreign policy. Foreign policy 4.8. Religious and capitalist. Let's let's try this, dude. Welfare. Let's have a look who we can get for welfare. Uh, 4.5. Let's see if we can do any better than 4.5. Uh, it's probably a good idea to have somebody who is socialist, somebody who is trade unionist. Um, in fact, that will probably do us a world of good. Uh, 4.6. Trade unionist and a patriot is not bad, but don't want welfare, which is a shame. So I think we'll go with this one at the top, Natalie Ramirez. Uh, economy. Uh, let's see. Economy, economy. Commerce environmentalists. See, um, that's not terribly good. Uh, who else wants economy? 1.6, that's no good. Uh, 4.5 wants the economy. Conservatives and farmers, okay. Economy, trade unionists and patriots, she might be useful. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's go with her, 4.6. So, Chancellor, Chancellor. Tax. Okay, this dude, uh, yeah, he's not, not going to bring in. Oh, this one here. Doesn't have a lot of experience, but has very high loyalty. Uh, can we get somebody who's got a bit better experience, I wonder? Not really. Not who's going to bring in a lot of political capital, but that's all right. Uh, let's bring you in. Let's give you a shot. You might be inexperienced, but let's try you out, eh? Okay. Uh, hello there, Wangot. Sorry, I've only just glanced over to the chat. Hello there. Um, welcome to my, my stream of democracy. I'm doing an isolationist run. Uh, basically trying to play the United Kingdom the most isolationist I can. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for what I can do, please pop them in the chat. So, public services. Okay, where am I? I've got to make sure I look over to the chat now more often. That's the thing I will have to do. Okay, so public services. Who can I bring in? So Francis Lee, 4.1. Can we do any better? Public services. We want somebody who wants the job as well. That's the thing. If they want the job, they're more likely to stay in it. That's what I hope. Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm going to hire Francis Lee. Uh, there we are. Law and order. Law and order. 2.5. Oh, we're running out of people who've got decent uh, decent political capital to offer us. So I might have to just hire somebody who doesn't want the jobs I'm offering. Uh, law and order. Hmm. Transport. Let's, let's hire this one here for transport because she wants transport. And then, then we're going to have to try and choose the best of a bad bunch, unfortunately. So law and order. 1.6, not really enough. Not very loyal. Um, we want somebody who's loyal, ideally. Law and order. 2.9 is not too bad in the grand scheme of things, so I think we're going to go with Ryan Baker here. There we go. So capital per turn. We're going to get 29 capital now, so that, that's increased us a bit. So that's going to help us. So we're going to skip ahead. Hopefully the Battenberg group don't kill me. Oh, scientific discovery. Awesome. That's great. That's good. That's good. Oh, oh the Battenberg group. They really don't like us. They're after me again. Credit rating downgraded. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. So we really do need to start either saving money or bringing money in. So I need to look at what more what tax I can put in. Um, hmm. Mansion tax, I think I'm going to have to put in. I'm going to have to put it as medium as I can. There we go. I can't bring in anything else this turn, so I don't really want to change anything else this turn. The problem is the capitalists like us, but now they're going to hate us because we've put in that mansion tax. They're really going to hate us. But we'll have to deal with that for now. Uh, yep, nothing wrong with GM crops. We'll have them. Okay. Now, what other tax can we bring in? Plastic bag tax, junk food tax. Uh, no, no. Graduate tax, not really popular. Internet tax, that's not fair. Uh, mortgage tax. Oh, that's tax relief. That's going to cost us. Let's pop in a plastic bag tax. Um... Abortion law doesn't really cost us anything, but I don't see that there's anything to be gained with that. Uh, unemployment benefits as low as we can make it. Uh, housing, state housing, we're going to drop that down a little as well. Uh, unfortunately, that is the UK. We don't have state housing. Unfortunately, all of our housing is owned by another by by private companies. It was for most. So Wirral, where I live, Liverpool, uh, which is just over the water. Um, 
neither of these have any residential housing stock. They don't own any houses. So we do not have any state housing. It's a great shame. Child benefit. Let's pop child benefit down. I don't want none. I think I just like it low. There we are. Now, let's save up some political capital, see what happens. Speed limits. Right, they want to raise the speed limits. Car speeds and braking performance has improved since then. Now, here's the thing. I agree, right? Limits, uh, sort of, cars have improved, and the old braking distance of so many car lengths does not, does not apply anymore. However... We have an awful lot of idiots on the road here in the UK, and I don't think there's anything to be gained from raising speed limits. If we did here in the UK, we'd have an awful lot more deaths because we have idiots on the road. We just do. We have people passing their tests who really shouldn't. Um, I mean, I I failed my first driving test, but I, 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 I not, but my motorbike test I passed first time, which is a really interesting one. But when you're on the back of a motorbike, you see just how dangerous some drivers are, and some just shouldn't be on the road. So I'm gonna say no change. That's my that, that that's my really roundabout way of saying that there shouldn't be any change. Mm. Excuse me. Right now, let's see what other tax can we bring in. Uh, junk food tax. Uh, it's really not popular, is it? So it's not gonna bring us in all that much mo money. A carbon tax. See, I really think we need to hit in the carbon tax next time. So, we need to save up our political capital, do this next turn. Economic stability. Ooh. Awesome. So, we've managed to keep the economy quite stable. That's good. Local blockbuster. Debt crisis. Uh, okay, our government's debt. Okay, so we need to, we need to solve this. So that's what I'm going to do by introducing that uh, carbon tax. So if I introduce the carbon tax here, oh, and the car tax, the car tax would be useful to pop in as well. Let's pop in the carbon tax. Um, it's going to help the environment, that's the thing. It's going to take two turns to implement. CO2 emissions will go down. Let's say 50%. Oh. No, no, let's just go all out on the carbon tax. Let's put all of our money into that. Oh, the Battenberg group really don't like us. Never mind. Okay, now we also want to... Hang on, how are we doing? Now, see, now we've got... Now we've got things going the other way. We're actually earning more money than we need. So, I think we should now start putting in public services. So... Let's pop in some art funding. Uh, yeah, that's fine. What else can we pop in? We can also pop in uh, disability benefit, childcare provision, winter fuel. Ooh. Hmm. That's quite popular, but isn't going to bring in that. Isn't going to cost that much. So let's have that. Uh, welfare, economy, consumer rights. Or small business grants or tech. Ooh. Consumer rights. I think that's a good idea to have. Automatic refund sounds good to me. Uh, this is where I'm not going to win the next election, but it's worth a shot. So here we go. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to lose the election. No surprise there. The opposition are taking us out. But interestingly, I survived my first term. And retire to obscurity it is. Well, being an isolationist UK, by cutting off foreign aid, cutting off everything to do with the outside world, it was not particularly successful. But it was more successful than some of my attempts where I've done things and have been assassinated as uh, head of the country. So no worries on that. Uh, I still think that was a nice, fun little go. Uh, it was nice and short, short and sweet. So um, if you have been, thank you very much for watching. And... Um, I probably won't be streaming again today. Uh, I think actually I will. I'm going to call it a day here. But if you have been, thanks for watching. And uh, do check out uh, my uh, Twitter, which is I'm um, at Martin the Actor over on Twitter. And please do like, uh, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff on my YouTube and on on uh, Twitch if you liked what I, what I've done. 
Uh, if you don't, or if you've got any suggestions for how I can improve, please, please do let me know. Send me a comment. Send me uh, messages. Just tell me uh, what you think I can improve, what I could try. If you've got an idea for something you think I'd be good at, please let me know. I'd be really interested to, to try stuff out. Um, as I say, though, for now, thanks very much for watching, and goodbye, folks.